good y'all it's your boy flock and right now i'm about to show y'all me hitting 95 overall as many of you know this is where you can kind of like cap out at for the most part before you have to like do different stuff the way you can get up to a 99 is much different than than games prior um as you can see right there i'll go and uh i'll go back and show you the stuff hold on let's do this here um so you go through the progression as you can see i am a 95 overall i'm a two-way sharpshooter i put myself at shooting guard 6'6 209 pounds i would have been a small forward but they just made the small forward so just utterly slow and useless on this game you would sacrifice a lot man so right now my attributes are as follows you see my close shot is at an 84 my driving layup is not really that impressive it's at a 72 but there's ways to make that better and i'm gonna show y'all that in a second you'll see and if you know you know um my driving dunk is a 76 so that's decent and then you have to take boost in the in account too you see my shooting my standing dunk rather is a 38 post hook a 30 my mid-range now it doesn't look like nothing special right here but when you take the boost in consideration the boosts i believe are either plus four or plus five and then if you get to 99 that's another plus four what every um every overall up you go after 95 it's a plus one so as you can see my three point is, is at an 81 but trust me yo i was playing at the wreck and i was out there greening man and i might throw a clip of that stuff in there man in this video then again i might not i might save that for a completely separate video um you see my post fade is at an 80. i hardly ever really use a post fade but it's good to have like if you have difficult shots or deep fades or something like that plus the higher you bring your stuff up the you know the more badge attributes you get to acquire so you see what my pass accuracy is that's at a 70 ball handle is at a 72 well pass accuracy is at an 80 ball handlers at a 72 my post moves i don't really need that because i don't do it you see my interior defense that's a little suspect at 59 but like i said i'm at a shooting guard so it's not going to be that high my perimeter defense is really good at 81 lateral quickness is at a 78 uh, my steel is at an 80 and that's you know my blocks isn't really good at 45 my offensive rebound because i'm not going to be trying to get putbacks and stuff but my defensive rebound is at an 80 but with the steals i'm going i'm you're going to see what my badges are and it's, you're going to see how much better it's going to make my steals now, i don't even have any boost equipped right now because i hadn't been playing a wreck i played like a couple of my career games and the weekly workout stuff what i'm working on is playing uh going through the the, uh, the play the playoffs and i seen that if you win the championship in the playoffs in my career that you get the gym rat badge which means you don't have to do those weekly uh, those weekly what you call it to get your stamina and and uh speed and all that other stuff you know boosted so once once i do that then i'll be good everything will be at a plus four on that and i won't have to worry about it but here goes the badges real quick uh my finishing badges i don't have many of them so i can kind of like change them in and out in and out as i please because i have them uh totally maxed out uh i got consistent finisher because my layups my driving layups is only a 72 i don't think it's high enough whereas um I feel confident enough that they'll go and then you see me with the uh you know consistent finisher contact finisher and i got fancy footwork just to do the, the euros i go over to the uh to the playmaking stuff i still got four more of these to get um, i just don't do a lot of playmaking stuff like throwing a lot of lobs i'm just not really an opportunity to do so but when i can i will i pretty much at this point i'm going to be doing them in the drills after the games i have unpluckable on silver quick first step on bronze space creator is just the most important one for my build which i can make people stumble and whatnot doing spin jumpers and step backs is on gold and uh i'll figure out what i want to do with the rest now defensive badges i have 14 out of 16 of these as you can see i have clamps on hall of fame as well as intimidator intimidator on hall of fame man key badges yo like if you got defense in your build where you can get those hall of fame i strongly suggest you do now they dumb down intimidator a little bit uh it used to be if you were like right up on them that kind of helped with shot contest but i think they did some stuff with this man they say they don't do it but i know they did because intimidator was popping up a lot even if i was just somewhere remotely close to people it would pop up now it's not so much uh interceptor i got that on bronze i'm gonna put that up one more probably once i uh get the next upgrade um i have pick dodger 
at silver and a pickpocket at gold another badge that i was really thinking about getting was uh the defensive leader i really think about getting defensive leader and try that out but i actually did try it uh on a different test build just to see how it worked you know how you test the stuff and you play that little game against the the golden state warriors i did try that out and it was okay um it was okay i feel like in this game right here you you actually want to be good on defense because i know the shooting isn't as accurate as most people want it to be but i feel like it's a lot of stuff that still goes on a lot of contested shots that goes in sometimes now my shooting badges i get 18 of these uh upgrades i made sure my catch and shoot was at hall of fame when it's typically difficult shots is my go-to shot for the most part but they dumbed that shit down y'all they dumbed down difficult shots man they really did they dumbed down difficult shots so i just put it down to uh the gold my dead eye is still at gold uh, i don't plan on changing that anytime soon unless you know it just doesn't seem like it's worth worth it but it does seem like it's worth it. It definitely does. My difficult shots, like I said before, is that goal. I don't have a lot of different stuff to go by. I know a lot of people that use like those sharpshooter builds. They they can have like three, four different things on Hall of Fame. I don't have that luxury. And one of the reasons why is because of fucking quick draw. Like you that you have to have that. Like most jump shots, like you have to have that on silver or gold. On this particular jump shot that I'm using, I got it on gold right now. Cause they did slow that jump shot down, which my base was 38. Um, I was using 38 and Steph Curry, so they slowed it down. They say they didn't, but I know for a fact that they did. Um, they did it. They did a little bit to it where the green window isn't as good either. Uh, high Zone Hunter, which is a must-have, y'all. I'm telling you. High Zone Hunter, range extender. People say corner specialist, but my thing is if you're hitting from the corner, High Zone Hunter is going to help you anyway. So if you don't have to have corner specialist, don't worry about it. It's not that big a deal. Ice and veins is pretty useless. I'm pretty. I'm probably gonna make because I've tried out like all of these shooting badges and whatnot. Pretty much all of them except for a couple finishing badges that I haven't tried. Got a chance to try out yet. Um, I'm gonna do a video on that shit too, y'all. So just be on the lookout for that. I know I haven't really been uploading much on this 2K20. For one, it's just it's it's just not fun uploading shit on YouTube no more, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. But if the people want to see it and y'all actually supporting the videos again, yo, I'll I'll go to go back to doing, man. Go back to doing it. But like I said, Hot Zone Hunter is definitely a a badge you uh you want to have because it'll if you're good from shooting there and how you check you you know you go on there like your roster and stuff and check you know go on your your player your my player. And just scroll around and show you the different hot zones and stuff and cold zones if you have them um from each part of the floor it'll show you like in your my career nba games it'll show it in the park then it'll show it in a uh, pro-am and rec so make sure you checking that stuff out because it can only help you so like i said high zone hunter i wish i could have this on like go to hall of fame but i would i would have to i would have to take down i don't want to take down range extender and i don't want to have to take down like dead eye or quick draw and I don't want to take my catch and shoot off of Hall of Fame because some, for some reason that shit is just clutch for me. Um, so, like I said before, y'all just make sure y'all divvying up those badges, you know, the, the best way you can. Find what works for you. Do your own test. Don't just go off of what I say or what anybody else says. Just test the shit out yourself, man. Like, that's the only way you're going to do it. That's the only way you're going to know what works for you. Um, what can we go to? I guess we can go to my animations real quick. M most of my animations, like, I change them so much. So at the time of me doing this, by the time you all see this, I've probably changed something else again, like a dribble package or, or a layup. Like my layups, I can't really change to much of anything because it's only at a 72. So it's like right now, as you see right now, my jump shot is 38 and Steph Curry, my free throws, Michael Jordan. That's never going to change because it's the most comfortable one for me. See, like my dribble pull up and spin is both Steph Curry. The spin jumper, I was just testing out because they took up my... Uh, my dribble pull up that i used for the last couple of years which was like athletic athletic 11 or 12 or something and they keep taking it out so it's like whatever and uh my free throw used to be carmelo anthony but they changed the way that that shot goes up and i don't like it so it's whatever kobe Bryant, my dribble style as well as the uh the size up that's just like the that's the go-to size up man and like i said before i'm pretty much like catch and shoot i can drive to the rim and stuff like that and i've been working on getting them euro dunks going i got a couple of them and um i got a couple of them at the park i believe so 
it's what it is man like like i said man i don't do too much you know i don't do too much i just do what it need needed for me to be done which is guarding people on the perimeter yo i'm telling y'all i can guard people man and i can lock people down like playing this two-way sharpshooter it's definitely uh it's definitely an all-purpose multi-purpose build man so because you need to be able to play defense because everyone's gonna make three level scores and offensive threats and shit like that so yeah man that's pretty much what it is i'll come at y'all with another update if i get higher if i ever get the 99 all that other shit man but anyways man hopefully y'all enjoyed this video if y'all like it cool if not whatever i'm flock and i'm out y'all peace Thank you.